welcome to Mr. Otter Studio. Today I'm going to show you three ways to draw hair. I'm going to show you straight hair, curly hair, and then we're going to attempt a braid. And we're going to draw together, and all you need is some paper, something to draw with, an eraser, and I like to use either a blender stump, which I can't find mine, or you can just grab a Kleenex or a piece of tissue paper. Um, works great as well, because we are going to be doing a little bit of smudging with this. Okay, just draw three squares on your paper. You can use a ruler if you want it to be exact. It doesn't matter if they are different sizes. Okay, so in these three boxes, we're going to draw three different hair, not styles, kind of textures. So straight hair, curly hair, and then we're gonna try a braid. Why not? So in this first square, let's go ahead and try to do straight hair. And remember, you're just gonna be going in the same direction. Maybe let's bring a few pieces below the box and then we'll erase out some of the highlights and you'll kind of see um, how I would handle doing straight hair. And even though hair is straight, you might have different sections of it. So like there might be some pieces going, I'm just gonna draw like, this is a chunk going that way, this is maybe a chunk going this way, and then maybe there's um, a piece coming down like that and one coming out. So remember, even though it's straight, uh, the hair usually is kind of pieced together a little bit more. So we wanna just get these individual areas in. We're not trying to draw individual hairs, remember. Just trying to kind of shade in these shapes. And maybe um, there's a piece of hair that's coming off of this part right here. Let's just draw a piece coming down and coming back up. Why not? And maybe over here we can draw a little one curving over the edge. And let's just do a little third one right here, why not? So these three are gonna overlap the edge of the paper. So if it's darker hair, you're just gonna be pressing darker. If it's lighter hair, you're gonna be pressing lighter. I can't show you every hair texture because there are so many. Wonderful, wonderful hair textures. So do you see how I'm kind of like working in these sections and bringing my lines in the direction that that hair might be going, even though this is straight, straight hair usually still has some movement in it. Whoops. Okay, so we've kind of drawn, it looks almost like, let's zoom in a little bit so you can see my drawing just a little bit better. It looks almost like grass a little bit. So after you draw like the main shape of somebody's hair, now then you need to work on the textures. And so hopefully by working on these together, it's gonna be helpful for you and your drawings. Okay, so we've got the main shapes in here. You can smudge it if you want, or we could just erase out highlights. I'm just gonna use the smudging. It's just a little bit faster. Still trying to go in the direction of the hair. Okay, so after you smudge, you're gonna lose some of your darker areas. So you can, and my pencil, there's just, I have a new pencil sharpener, it's not working very well. It leaves like all of the edge. You might need to put in some of those darker areas again. Depends on how much of the texture you really wanna see. And then all you wanna do is grab your eraser and just start erasing out some of the highlights in there. So you kinda of have to choose, you know, like, is this coming in front? You have to kind of figure out where the hair is curving out and use your eraser to add the highlights there. I should have taped my paper down. This is getting intense. So make sure though when you erase, you're kind of going with the, the hair. 
right? So you're just erasing out highlights. Simple as that. And you can, you can erase them just in a totally random direction to kind of bring, break up some lines. Okay, so that's straight hair. Also, don't like that line behind there, but that's okay. All right, so that's basically straight hair. And number two is going to be curly hair. So I actually have curly hair. I usually wear it straight, but it's curly. And curly hair is just, there's so many different kinds. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of draw the kind of ringlety, loose, curly hair. And what you wanna do is kind of look at it and there's going to be some curls that stand out and some curls that don't. So, and there's gonna be a lot going on like around the edges. So let's just go ahead and let's draw. So we have some shapes inside. And really, like when you're looking at someone, you can see some of these shapes, but some of them are really like hidden. So I'm just kind of drawing a few of these curls in here that we can see. In real life, I would be doing whoa, like zigzag lines <laughs> everywhere. But just for this tutorial, I'll do it a little bit slower and I'll pay a little bit more attention. Okay, so we're just gonna bring one curl over the edge right here. So we're kind of just doing these squiggly lines in here and we're not gonna keep doing this. These are just the main curls that we can see. So it's kind of like before, we're just indicating these shapes. And now what we're gonna do is come in here and fill in some of these areas with our, our shadows. You could, um, some of these curls are really light, so I'm gonna leave them without all of the shading around them. So in between these lines, I'm just filling it in with lines that would be going in the same directions as the curly hair, so circular and wavy. I mean, for sure, curly, curly hair can have some straight parts too, but I do wanna keep some of these parts still highlighted. So I'm just kind of filling in the space around it. It almost looks like an ocean right now. <laughs> All right, now this looks a little bit like um, Starry Night by Van Gogh, but we are going to make it look like hair, I promise. Okay, so just like before, grab your kind of paper towel, your tor tortillon, however you say that, blender stump, whatever you wanna use, and let's go ahead and just put some of these darker areas in. And when I'm smudging this, this hair is lighter, but as I'm smudging it, I don't wanna smudge over some of these curls. Remember, we kinda of smudge, put the darker areas in. I'm just trying to get like that medium tone right now in the hair. And then we wanna put the dark areas back in. So I'm just kind of looking at the hair and figuring out, okay, there's definitely some darker shadows in here, around this one. So I'm just adding some um, more of those lines in those darker areas. This one might need two layers of smudging. Drew, why don't you set up the pool? Just trying to keep kids busy around here. And even in these highlighted areas, we can still see some of these lines. Okay. So you can add, I do just really want to add another level of shading in here or blending before I erase out the highlights. Okay, so we have some, and this looks not quite as realistic as I would hope, but with, I think, the highlights, we definitely can make it look a little bit better. So grab your eraser or a piece of your eraser, and then what you wanna do is just emphasize a few of these curls, not all of them, but some of them are going to stand out. So you want to think of your um, eraser as like a, almost like a, 
like a drying tool. So So we don't want to be erasing in a straight line like we did over here. You're just trying to curving it with those curls. And you can, just like we did before, you can kind of bring some pieces that maybe are curling in a different way to just kind of break it up a little bit. And if you erase too much, just bring your pencil back in. So hopefully that's helpful. It's kind of the same thing we did with straight hair, but we did it curly. Now in this square, we're gonna draw a braid. Sometimes you wanna draw a hair that has kind of cool things going on in it, and so that's what we're gonna try in this part. So this is more like a braid in a bun. So it's a braid that's been twisted around itself. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. <laughs> All right, so what you wanna do is just draw the shapes, just like I said when you're drawing the whole head. So you're going to draw just the shape of this bun. It's just kind of like a circle. Then you have hair that's kind of twisted and coming into it. And then hair that's coming down below it. Okay, so we just it looks kind of crazy now, but we will make it look like a cool shape. So we have basically these different areas. We have this area around it right here. And then we have this area right here that's coming in this direction. So we have this like area here, area here, and then this area right here, and then this middle part right there. So let me zoom in so you can see this a little bit better. So I've just kind of divided it into these shapes. And now then within these shapes, like here, this piece is kind of coming like this. So this is like a big, chunk right here. And then under it, there's another one that's kind of wrapped around this piece. So make sure you kind of bump out your lines because it wouldn't be flat. It's not flat. And then this piece is kind of coming down and around like that. Then this piece is curving into a piece that's right here. So first we'll draw this part just so it makes a little bit more sense. This piece is coming into a point right there. So this whole piece is kind of coming in to that point. And then we have these two areas right here that are coming up. And then in here, we've got a lot going on, but we have basically these two shapes. And then the hair is coming back in this direction. Then we have this shape, but then there's like a teardrop shape that's going like that. So it doesn't look like hair yet, right? Not at all. But with some shading and some lines, it will look like hair. So line and line direction is extremely important when drawing this way. So we're gonna start with our lines and we're actually gonna give our lines some weight. So I'm gonna make push harder as I'm down in this edge and then lighter as I kind of pull away. And then this piece, let's see. There's probably some darker pieces coming out in that direction. This piece is going down like this and it's darker towards the bottom. So we can't see every little hair, but we can see the direction that it's going in. We really want this to look like it has, you know, it has form, <laughs> it's not flat. So that means where these pieces tuck in, where they go over, those are going to be a little bit darker and you can make them look darker just by pressing harder on your line. This one has like a dark area that's coming all the way through it. And then through here, we've just got like a bunch of pieces going in this direction. And some kind of falling out right there. So we're just taking each piece and adding the hair in the direction that it's going. So this hair is going to be going in this direction towards this point. And then let's add some weight to these so we can tell that it's tucking under right here. And 
And then above it, there's a, some, a really dark shadow up in here. And then this piece is moving in this direction like that. Well, it actually, it's moving, maybe looking at it more, it's actually moving like this. So it's coming out from here. So I'm just pressing, trying to press harder over here because it's kind of bumping in between these. And then this piece is pretty light. Besides this shadow that's up here that's really dark. I should have chose just a normal braid. Sorry, I could have made this a little bit easier for you. Hopefully you're still with me. If you're drawing another braid, just do the same thing, kind of divide it into pieces and then figure out what direction the hair is going in and then it's a lot easier to draw. So just kind of shade in, in the direction and then add those darker weighted lines. And then same thing above it. And then these pieces are pretty dark in here. They're kind of going towards the bottom. There's a piece kind of coming out of this braid. And then this piece right here is going in this direction. I think it's kind of fun to draw braided hair. It's just like really relaxing. And there's some people, if you look up line drawings of hair, it looks really, really cool and fun and it's a great activity to do. Okay, so let's just put in some indications of the hair that's going around. So we know that the hair around it is going to be coming in to the braid. Probably not like the sun though. There's still like pieces and dimensions and then these side pieces that are coming in. So I'm just adding the hair that would be around it right now. Okay, now like before, that was a lot to do. Sorry, I didn't really, I hadn't, no, we would be drawing a braid, but why not? You can use the smudging technique if you want, or you can just kind of end it there. I'm gonna just show you how I would do it if I did use the smudging technique. So I wanna just tie all this hair. I'm kind of creating that medium tone. You can leave some of the highlights if you just, you can. I don't wanna lose any of my nice lines here, so I'm not gonna shade in some of these highlighted areas. I'm just going to leave them. Well, maybe in here I will add it just a little bit. It just looks a little bit rough. So this is kind of smoothing it, blending it into one color, but then you also lose some of your really cool lines. So if you want them to stand out, then you can just come back in and add those shaded areas. So I'm just doing the same thing we did before, just adding those darker areas back in. Just kind of lost some of them around too. And then after we uh, just kind of add some of those shadows back in, I might even keep this kind of piece that's kind of coming out of the bun. And let's grab our eraser and you can erase out some highlights. We actually kept a lot of them when we smudged, so you really don't need to add very much. But if you wanted to, you could pick out some areas where there might be this is a better eraser. Like right in here, I feel like. There you go.
You can add like those stragglers that might be coming off of it. Okay, so you can just kind of keep going, really. There's just no way to know when to stop. <laughs> I hope that was helpful for you, uh, doing these three different examples of hair. Um, really quick, I'm just going to show you what I mean by drawing the whole shape of the hair. So this would be like drawing the whole shape of the hair and then adding those highlights over um, the top. And this hair didn't really have like a, a huge highlight. And I did it pretty quick, but if you want to get the textures, use the, the technique that I showed you where you kind of draw on the shape of the hair, including like, you know how we chunked this one up and then put your darkest areas in, kind of make your medium values, add some dark areas back in, and then erase out your highlights and add some details. And that's it. So have fun drawing hair. I would try to draw, let's see, five different um, examples of hair. Looking at a picture, like you can, and you can even do it like the back of the head so you can see all of the hair. Try a braid, try doing men's hair, try doing hair that's curlier than this, and um, good luck. This is a really fun activity. I feel like I could just draw hair all day, but I can't. Maybe you can, <laughs> but have fun. Thank you so much for joining me today on Mr. Otter's studio and we'll see you tomorrow.